Hello friends, welcome to another video on my channel. In my previous video, I covered on UK specialty training for broad specialties like surgery, medicine, gynae ops, etc. Many of you have asked questions about the process for transitioning to UK career for some other clinical specialties and some non-clinical specialties. In this video, I will try to explain about the process of moving to UK for pharmacology, microbiology, PSM or community medicine and oncology postgraduates. Let's start with pharmacology. If you are someone who is doing MD in pharmacology in India or who have completed MD in pharmacology and you are planning to come to UK, then we don't have something exactly equivalent to MD Pharma in the UK. And there is nothing which requires the same skill set that you might possess. But if you are ready to upskill yourself, then I would like to highlight a specialty called Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics. Now this is a medical specialty which requires some of the skill set that you already possess as a MD Pharma. In India, we don't have a similar specialty and that's the reason I'm doing a video on this. As I mentioned, clinical pharmacology is a medical specialty. So you will need to complete three years of IMT training or equivalent and get an alternative core competency form. You need completed MRCP and then you will have to apply for recruitment at ST4 level. The main career options after you complete your CCD are number one in academic medicine. You can become a lecturer or a professor in a medical school with an honorary NHS consultant contract. Most clinical pharmacology academics have a subspecialty interest such as hypertension, oncology, epilepsy, gastroenterology, etc. The second option is that you can go for an NHS consultant post. There are very few NHS consultant jobs in pure clinical pharmacology, including the ones in poisoning units. For those of you who don't know, in the UK, there is a poisoning helpline, which is available for advice related to any kind of poisoning cases, and it is available all over the country. This is run by clinical pharmacology doctors. Many more trained clinical pharmacologists have NHS consultant jobs in other specialties such as general acute medicine or cardiovascular medicine. The third option is pharmaceutical industry jobs. Some of the largest global drug companies are based in the UK, for example, GSK or AstraZeneca. So if you have plans to move into the pharma industry, then UK is a good place. You will require GMC registration and few years of NHS experience to move into the pharma industry jobs. So for MD Pharma doctors, if you are interested in coming to UK, then clinical pharmacology is the specialty that you should be aiming for. I have provided all the relevant links in the description box below. Please do check them out. And if you are finding this video helpful, please do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more and more videos on this topic. The next specialty is microbiology. Unlike India, medical microbiology is a clinical specialty in the UK. It's called infectious diseases and tropical medicine and it's a group one medical specialty. You need IMT training and MRCP to apply for ST4 recruitment and then proceed with your training. You do have the option of combining your training with either medical microbiology or virology and become a specialist in either of these fields. Infectious disease or ID is also a research heavy department and many trainees in the Liverpool area where I work enroll in doing PhD with Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, which is an internationally acclaimed public health institute. The next specialty is public health. For doctors who are currently doing or have completed MD in 
Community Medicine or PSM, the relevant UK specialty is Public Health. This is a five-year training program and the recruitment is at ST1 level. So any Indian doctor who can pass PLAB exam and can apply for ST1 recruitment for Public Health. This is an extremely competitive specialty and when you look at the competition ratio, Public Health is quite high up on the list. During training, the doctors don't work in hospital setting and mostly do office-based 9 to 5 job in various community settings. In a way, you are away from a busy NHS hospital, which is a good thing. Job prospects are also quite good and they can act as a consultant with NHS England or many other public health institute based in the UK and around the world. So if you are interested, then please check out the relevant link in the description box below. The next specialty that we are going to discuss is Oncology. UK, as you might know, has some of the most famous cancer centers in the world. So if you want to train in Oncology, then UK is a great place. You have broadly two options for Oncology training in the UK. Number one is Medical Oncology which is a medical specialty and clinical oncology, which is managed by the Royal College of Radiologists. These are the two main specialties that actively manage patients with non-hematological malignancy. Hematologist, on the other hand, will manage the hematological cancers like lymphoma, leukemia. The oncology often work in partnership and both give systemic therapy to patients but only the clinical oncologist will administer radiotherapy. Medical oncology concerns the specialized assessment and management of patients with cancer. Medical oncologists are trained to use systemic drugs like chemotherapy, immunotherapy in the treatment of cancer and to administer these therapies to patients who have localized or metastatic cancer. Medical oncology is a group two medical specialty. So you need two years of IMT training and then apply for medical oncology. Needless to say, you also need MRCP for application to medical oncology. On the other hand, clinical oncology recruits at ST1 level and it's a six year program. This is helpful for doctors who have completed PLAB exam. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and help this channel reach out to more and more people like you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.